Hello and welcome back. I'm Damien and this is the Average Joe server. And today I wanted to actually, uh, we're staring into the fireplace here at the quest hall. And I actually wanted to do a couple of the quests, uh, do video on them because I did promise you guys that I would do that when I had time. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So we have a quest wall here with uh, Sparky there. And uh, you click on the signs to accept the quest, and then you get a book. So we're going to take uh, Andrew's lost item first. That's quest number one. And he says his name is Andrew, and while exploring a cave, he lost a very important item, and he needs us to go and find it. Uh, and it tells us where it is, pretty much, and, uh, you know, the quest rewards, stuff like that. So good, we've accepted that quest. So now... We're going to go see if we can find his lost item without dying. So, do not break place or break any block or item on any quest. So, yeah, I can't come down here and mine into something if I know where it's at. Um, which, that, that would be kind of crappy to do anyway. So, we're just going to explore these caves. Oh, hello. Um, we're going to explore these caves and see what we can find here. And Kite has it set up so that mobs will spawn in here on you. So you've got to get in and get it and get out or you'll get uh, pretty much overwhelmed. And even though I've done this quest numerous times... I still get lost in this cave. Uh, but here we go. The lost item, and it's in a chest. Because that's how Minecraft works. And uh, it's an egg. This must be the lost item Andrew was looking for. Really? An egg. Alright then. I'm not going to judge. And now we just have to get out of here. Without too much trouble. And get back to the quest hall. Oh, nobody. Mm -mm, not today. And that's another skeleton behind me. So let's see if we can... Oh, that's a creeper. Let's just see if we can run. Uh, this way. I remember that dirt up against the wall. I don't know if I have enough arrows to fight all these guys, so we're just going to evacuate. There we go. We're back to the quest hall. We have the quest item, and there is a zombie at the door. Alright, uh, so... Once you have your quest item, you can come and turn in the quest. You get up close to the counter, and you click the button. I got 150 money at quest level and an emerald for doing that quest. Uh, now, since I already have all the books for all the quests for my trophy wall, I'm just going to dispose of the book and the stuff that I don't really want. And I'll keep the gunpowder because gunpowder. Okay. So that was the first one. Um, that one's done. It's fairly easy. These are all these are all green quests. These are all easy quests. Um, so we're gonna do Leah's proof next. This is quest number two, and it says her name's Leah. People say her mother's a witch, and she wants uh, us to go to her old hut and get get a potion as proof that she's a witch. I don't know why a potion would prove she was a witch, but okay. And the hut's located down the way from the quest hall. So, there we go. There's our second quest. Let's eat a little bit more. And we're just going to run. And see. And I have sound off, so I can't hear. I can't hear the, uh, the, the mobs that are spawning around me. Like that one to the left. I saw the uh, particles. And that dude.
Luckily, the hut's not too far. And we're going to access the hut. We're going to get up on here. Because all witches have a secret entrance. Alright, we're going to get these three waters here. And let's eat first. <clears throat> and we're going to... Oh, and we got a potion. I saw it go into our inventory. There's the hut, and <laughs> we're about to be surrounded. So we're going to get out the gate, maybe? No, cannot get out the gate. So... We're going to do the best we can here. Because there are spawners all over the place here that, uh, that just bring more and more mobs out. Alright, and we're back at the quest hall and we have the potion the witch's brew so let's turn it in click the button there we go we got 150 money a quest level and an emerald same thing applies here because uh, I don't want my inventory all crammed up I've already got that and I don't need these so let's get rid of those and then we're gonna do quest 3 because these quests aren't taking too long. Um, I think I did quest 3 already. The Blaze quest. I think I did it. But we'll go ahead and do it again. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did this one. But this is Blaze. He says he's human. And he wants a Demi Blaze rod. So we're going to go back to spawn and take the Nether Portal. And uh, go to his little... Um, place and see if we can get this demi rod for him and like i said these quests haven't been taken too long so we've got plenty of time right now so let's get over here and let's go ahead into the portal and here we are at the uh, community spawn Alright, and we are in the neither. There's no doubt we're in the neither, but this area here for the quest is actually kind of cordoned off. It's got barriers around it so that we generally, you know, we can't get attacked by anything else while we're doing the quest. And right here is this little spawner, but instead of just regular blaze, they'll spawn demi blaze, uh, who have a chance to drop the demi blaze rod. Now that one dropped a uh, just normal blaze rod, so I'm going to turn the volume up just a little bit because it's actually getting on my nerves that I can't hear anything. So let's put it on about 33. There we go. Come on, boys. I did this quest two other times earlier, and I got the demi rod uh, the first time on the first one, and the second time on the second one. So <laughs> this one's going to take a while, apparently. But I do like the way the kite has all this set up. I love the quests. Because uh, quests can be fun and rewarding. And uh, this is Minecraft. So this is really an awesome addition to Minecraft. Alright, come on.
And of course, when I do video, it's going to take a while. Right on, man. Right on. And a lot of times they'll try to go up out of my reach, like normal blazes do. And they'll get up there, and they're kind of hard to reach up there, but... See, just like that. That's the first thing he did. But, uh, we got him. Alright, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Good thing is though you're collecting blaze rods, so you can always use blaze rods. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. He dropped a Demi Blaze Rod. This is for the quest. So now, once uh, once you get it, you have to leave so you don't break the quest. So we've got it. We're getting out of here. Now, we've been here long enough that these tunnels in front of us will probably have spawned skeletons by now. So we're probably going to have a little bit of a fight on our hands. But maybe not. Nope. Spawn skeletons. At least one. But here we are back at spawn. Which I love this. I love how he's got this set up. Did we just run back to the quest hall? It's daytime now, so we won't have as many spawns, hopefully. And we turn the quest in, and there we go. That is yet another quest done, so let's go over here and do the same thing. I'm keeping those blaze rods, thank you very much. Alright, um, now this next one, let me get my backup armor. I'm not going to do this in an elytra. I'm going to put my armor on and my helmet. Okay, and this is Jack's Compass Quest, level 5 plus. Alright. Name's Jack. I left my compass in an underwater room while exploring for rum. <laughs> I'm looking for someone to get it back. Savvy? Alright, so we're just going to go talk to Jack. He's going to take us by boat to his place. And we're going to go get his compass. Because he's an idiot. And was probably drunk. And Jack is right on down here. Hey, Jack. And he's taking us now to his island. Yeah, he was drunk. Um, let's grab some water breathing out of here. It's automatic for the quest. You get water breathing for three minutes. And there's the ruin. So let's go see what's going on down here. Okay. Let's grab Jack's compass and I can already hear the drowned. Yeah. 
And we are out of here. Okay. So we got the compass. We're going to jump back in the boat. And Jack is going to take us on back. Now, we were just with Jack. So I don't know why we kept the compass. But anyway, we'll turn it in. And uh, they can give it back to him. So that's Jack's quest. Not too bad at all. Fairly simple. I like this guy. This guy, uh, Kite put an actual villager in here instead of the armor uh, stands. But uh, he will trade 64 Wither Skeleton Spawn Eggs for an arrow. I love it. Love it. I like his head too. But Kite said if I kill him, I don't get the head. So... Uh, and then the next one is Farmer Bill. Now, Farmer Bill, that quest requires um, spruce logs, I think. I may have the spruce logs to do it. Um, let's go ahead and take the quest and... Oh, yeah, uh, Jack. Jack's compass, put that in there. Uh, Farmer Bill is in need of spruce logs, and they, they can't be normal. they got to be magical logs. He needs those magic logs. So what I have to do is um, I'm going to take the quick trip ah, back to my place. And I don't think I have the spruce logs, so and I'm going to have to swim because I took my rockets off, but oh well. Uh, I don't think I have the spruce logs. Um... So I may have to go buy them or whatever. And if I if I don't have them and I can't buy them, I don't have enough to buy them, I'll do this quest on video later. Um, it's a cool little quest. It's just I don't have... Um, where's my spruce at? Right there. Hey, I do actually have spruce logs. So good deal. We get to do the quest. <clears throat> Getting dark. So let's go back to spawn. And we're going to carry on with this quest. We have the 64 spruce logs now. So we're going to head right on back to the quest hall. And we're going to go up to F Farmer Bill and the Magic Lumber Mill. Okay. And now it's thoroughly dark. Okay, and here's the magic lumber mill. And we're going to go ahead and enter. Alright, and here's our magical woodworker. So here's my 64 spruce logs. He's going to give me the key to the chest. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, Mr. Magical Woodworker guy. And we're going to put it in our main hand because I always screw that up. We're going to open the chest and we're going to get 64 magical spruce logs. All right. And now we're going to leave and go back to Farmer Bill. Deliver quest items here. So we're going to put those in here. And there we go. And we're going to wait for it to, to finish clicking. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and he says, thank you for the logs. It's done. We go back to the quest hall. Mm. 
that is Farmer Bill and his magic logs. Okay. So we're done with that. Now what is this one? Okay, now, this is the one I've been working towards. This is the Member's Quest Hall. So I'm going to click this. And here is the huge quest hall. Like, there was enough room at that, at the little quest hall, the main little quest hall over there, to do like, I think, five or six quests. There's a special one over there for uh, spring. This one can hold a ton of quests in here. So, this is the actual, you know, quest hall. Now, these are all green quests here. They're really fairly easy to do. Uh, this one, they want iron ore. This one wants gold ore. I don't have those. Uh, this one wants um, uh, oak wood. But I really like this quest, but I'm not sure if I have the oak wood. So these are going to be... Oh, and then this uh, this one, this is a little bit harder. This These are set to be a little bit harder, and this is a pirate's greed. And... Um, that's a really good quest there, too. Now, I'm going to show the special spring quest on a separate video, and I'm going to show these on a separate video. But I wanted to get to this point so I could show you the quest hall. And as you can see, these will be coming in the future. Uh, he's, gotten, he's gotten four done on those two so far. Um... But yeah, this is going to be great. It's huge. Uh, we have a little store in here where you get quest coins for doing bigger quests. And you can buy potions and gotcha coins and stuff like that with your uh, with your you know quest rewards. You can uh, press to check the balance. I'm not sure if he's got that hooked up yet. Um, but there will be a place to check your balance. Uh, here's where you can turn in your quests. And uh, over here, he's got um, uh, Silver Tooth, 25 quest coins, a quest book, 50 quest coins. Um, so, you know, he's got little shops in here, too, for, you know, specific quest shops. <clears throat> I really like it. I think, it's a, I think it's a great idea. I think he did an excellent job here. So, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed those first five quests. And like I said, I'll cover the spring quest uh, on its own video. I'll do that in, uh, next. And then I will get to these quests in the quest hall. And we'll get those covered that he has up to date. Um, and then he has some new gashapons in that I'll have to cover too. But those will be in another future video. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you on the, the next one.